substitute for school funding at least, or um, you know, have a cutback or relief of property taxes. In either case, if you're supporting some kind of reduction or elimination of property taxes, how would you propose to fund our uh, K through 12 education system in lieu of the property tax? Ms. Buspola, would you have to start on that? And, and here's the challenge. And this is why I came to the conclusion that we need to eliminate property taxes. We know we need to fund education. We need to fund it at a strong level, that with a strong investment in our children. <coughs> Every time in Harrisburg that we give extra money, our basic ed education subsidy has increased by 44% over the last eight years. Every time that we do that, the local school districts still raise property taxes, even though we're giving the school districts more money. When we did the gaming bill, and the money from gaming was supposed to go into property tax relief, and it is, we thought that that would give some relief to homeowners. What's happened was, because the school districts knew that we were giving that tax relief to them, they raised property taxes at the school district level even higher. So it negated what we were trying to do in Harrisburg. That's why we have to have strong accountability for those dollars that are being sent to our educational system. And instead of me saying we reduce property taxes and maybe add a sales tax, or why do that? Because you know sales taxes are going to skyrocket again, and then property taxes will still be risen by the school board. You know, so you'll be paying double what you were to keep the taxes in place. That's why I want to eliminate it. Thank you, Mr. Connolly. Well, I appreciate the fight for uh, for eliminating property taxes, but I prefer you win the fight for property taxes instead of using it. It seems that it's been, it's, been, it's been your election ploy for the last 12 years. That's uh, it's, the passion. Oh, that's great. Uh, the uh, the last promotion or proposal she had in, in, that involved increasing state sales taxes from six to seven percent, imposing a statewide property tax of six mills on private land and 18 mills on businesses. Increasing taxes on securities such as stocks and bonds, increasing the realty transfer tax from one to two percent, imposing a development tax on construction of one percent, increasing the tax on insurance companies from two to three percent. This is all out of that same morning call article that was done eight years ago. There, there's nothing new here. The, the problem with, with property taxes is that they're in, inherently unfair to people who have paid off their homes, and seniors are especially attuned to this. Because you really don't own your home. You rent the land from the state, and that's a real problem. We do have to change how we fund. The biggest issue in the, in the budget, there's 14 points in the, in the Pennsylvania budget, and the biggest two, which is 83%, is education and the Department of Public Welfare. Just The Auditor General just said there's a 14%, which is $800 million error rate in that department. We need to flush out the waste before we can talk about raising taxes. Uh, thank you, Mr. Connolly. Uh, it, speaking of education, uh, in your view, does more dollars produce more scholars, uh, or do we need to, to do something else with our schools to improve education uh, in, the, in the Commonwealth? Um, and uh, so, Mr. Connolly, would you like to start off with that question? Well, I think I think the dollars should follow the student. I, I'm a big proponent of, of school vouchers. Um, we have, we have a number of issues with schools. Uh, with, with teachers that underperform, with schools that underperform, with, with parents who move out of a district because they don't like the school. And it, that's important. Not everyone can afford private schools. We spend about $11,000 uh, per student uh, to educate our children. If we had a voucher system that even allowed half of that to be applied towards another school, we would eliminate, and 10% and, and of the people took the state up on that, we would eliminate the 250 million extra dollars that the state has to put into the educational system every year. School vouchers would accomplish a number of things. They would reduce the overall cost. They would make it competitive. When you have it competitive so a person can bring their student even to another public school in a different district, you're going you're gonna to balance the size of the district. If you have the same people who can then go to a private school, you're going to lower the overall burden on the public school system. You're going to have a greater teacher to student ratio. And you're going to have a higher graduation rate. And that's really what we're looking at. Thank you, Mr. Collins. Let me um, just first address uh, when you eliminate property taxes, that's about a $6 billion hole you have to fill. So it's magically not going to appear somewhere. You have to raise a tax in another area to accomplish that. Um, but that being said, Remember I talked about the education commitment over the last eight years made under the Rendell administration, 44% increase. Do you know that in all levels, all grade levels, we have seen increases in test scores based on the PSSA? And, and I have, I, I pulled out from the website 
in, in our country right now, we are the highest, Pennsylvania has the highest in eighth grade reading. And we're only four states do better than us in the fourth in fourth grade math. I mean, these are the things with the investment that we did in our children's education. We are now being looked at as what are we doing so good in Pennsylvania when it comes to our educational system? And the test scores prove that we're doing a good job. Can we do better? Of course. We have to strive to be number one in all areas. But you have to invest solidly in our children. They're our future. And but you need to hold, you need to make sure that those dollars that we're sending to our school districts are going toward the students and not toward administration and other things.